great show here at the Nintendo. More coming to you live from the Gamescom here in Cologne, Germany. I'm your host, Tim Feldner, and I'm so happy to be here right now because we're going to have a look at the new Metroid. Do we have some Metroid fans here? That's good to know, but I'm not quite sure yet, so can we do that again? Do we have some Metroid fans here? Yeah. Whew, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. So thank you guys for attending our stage right here, and thank you, of course, over there at home, you guys tuning in via live stream. It's good to have you with us. So if you are interested in Metroid, I guess it's only fitting that we have a very special guest coming for you. We have two. So not just one special guest, we have two special guests. So please welcome the producer of Metroid, Samus Returns from Nintendo, Mr. Sakamoto, as well as Jose Luis Marquez, the creative director from Mercury's team who co-developed the game together with Nintendo. <laughs> Mr. Sakamoto, hey, it's so good to have you here. Jose Luis, please guys, take a seat. So good to have you here. Ah, oh we are also joined by Didi, our translator. Hey, Didi, good to have you here. Hello. And of course, Chris, our colleague from Nintendo of Europe, who's going to do the gameplay parts. So, Mr. Sakamoto yeah. and Jose Luis, yeah. do you have something to say to our audience? Yes. Guten Tag, Deutschland. Mina san, konnichiwa. Games Com ni sanka deki de totemo uresi des. Ano, mina san mo nanda dakai kangei ni hijou ni kokoro kara kansha shite imasu. Guten Tag, Deutschland. Hello, everyone. It's a great pleasure to be here at Gamescom, and I thank you all for your warm welcome. Hi, it's great to be in Cologne, and we are really looking forward to showing you all some new, exciting new content never seen before from Retro Metroid Samuel Returns. Thank you very much. It's so good to have you here. So, Mr. Sakamoto, before we dive into the gameplay, Maybe you want to tell us something about why you decided to make a remake of Metroid 2 Return of Samus. Yes. Metroid 2 was not involved in the development of Metroid 2. I was not involved in the development of the original I wasn't involved in the development of the original Metroid 2 Return of Samus. However, since a long time, I wanted to take on the challenge of remaking this epic Game according to my own interpretation of the game. Kono Metroid 2 ni wa sono go no story ni oukiku eikyo suru Samus Aran to Baby Metroid no deai ga eiga kaere teimasu. Metroid 2 features an important event for the Metroid series, namely the encounter between Samus and the Baby Metroid, which will have a big impact on the story of the series then on. Kono juyo na episode o ゲームファンやメトロイドファンの皆様方に現代版として改めてプレイしてもらうことはこのシリーズとって非常に重要なことだと考えていました。I felt that providing our long-time fans as well as the new players with the opportunity to revisit this important episode in a modernized version would be beneficial for the series as a whole. Yeah. It was around that time I heard Mercury Steam was interested in taking on the challenge of remaking a Metroid game. Mercury Steam was interested in taking on the challenge of remaking a Metroid game. Seeing their past work, I felt that they would have the necessary know-how and a new perspective as well as a fresh outlook in order to come up with exciting new ideas to make a new 2D Metroid game. So I went to Spain with already high expectations had and had them prepare a prototype. Seeing their output, they managed to surpass my expectations, nice. which were already high. I knew then that I had found my ideal partner. 
<laughs> That's good to know. So, Jose Luis, what can you tell us about this collaboration and why you especially wanted to work on Metroid? Well, collaborating with Nintendo Metroid has always been on our minds because I and all of my team in Spain are huge Metroid fans. And it's been a long way since our first meeting with Nintendo. And we are very happy to have finally uh, finished work on Metroid from the Jones. So thank you very much for that. So we will now switch to live gameplay. Chris already has the 3DS in his hands right now to show a little bit of how the game works and, of course, also a new ability in Samus Arsenal. That's quite interesting. So, Mr. Sakamoto, what yes. were the main reasons to bring Metroid Samus Returns to the 3DS? Yes. Uh, is Having two screens suits very well the Metroid gameplay. あの、下の画面で常にマップを確認できるというのはとても便利ですし、さらにあの武器のセレクトなどはタッチによってすごく素早く行える。The lower screen enables you to constantly display the map as well as swiftly switch between weapons with just a quick touch. こうやってあの、2つの画面でゲームプレイは快適になるんですけども、ま、それに加えて3DSのあの立体視、これがとても効果的だと思ったんですよ。not only does the Nintendo 3DS greatly contribute to the comfortability of the gameplay, it also offers the 3D stereoscopic feature which enhances the graphic experience of the game to bring the game to life. So we are just seeing right now that Samus has used the melee counter. So Jose Luis, what made you come up with this specific idea? Yes, we really like the idea for Samus to have a defensive movement to, to, to counter attack. Uh, incoming enemy attacks, so this could let them stand and kill them with just one shot. And this movement is also very useful when you use it against bosses, uh, because it allows for some of the start devastating that sequence. So the teleport station that we are going to see right now are also a new addition, and they allow Samos to revisit places that she already visited. So maybe you can tell us something about how you came up with that idea. This idea came from Mercury Steam. This was the first time this element was implemented in a Metroid game. And it was spot on. Especially because of the unique level design of Metroid 2 Return of Samus, which Metroid Samus Returns is based on, I felt that this feature worked particularly well. It's good to know. So, Chris, I think you're going to play and tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we're actually at a very tense moment in the game right now because we've encountered a Metroid. And in Metroid Samus Returns, Samus is on a mission on planet SR388 to defeat all the remaining Metroids on this planet. Um, the current Metroid we're facing is an Alpha Metroid, which is definitely not the strongest Metroid evolution that we will encounter, but it has already um, developed a little bit because it has created some fire abilities. The best ways to defeat Metroids are to either use missiles or the ice beam, but there is one more effective way, and that's by using the melee counter and then fire away with missiles and super missiles. What you can see now is that I have defeated this alpha Metroid, and I also acquire a piece of Metroid DNA. And by collecting enough Metroid DNA, I can progress at certain parts of the game. What you can also see here is that uh, Samus is very slow in the water. That's because currently she doesn't have her strongest suit yet. So I am really impeded oh, by the water right now. Luckily, it's only a small part of water. So when I'm out, I can go at full speed again. And here we have reached a special part of the, uh, in, in the game because this is the place where Samus will acquire her fourth and final Aeon ability called the Face Drift. And that's actually a good question for Jose Luis because as we are just seeing right now that Samus is in front of the Face Drift ability and she acquired us, what made you come up with this idea? 
Yes, for the last IA ability that Samus gets in the game, he wanted an ability that could be combined perfectly well with the other existing abilities and with the classic abilities too. So we came up with this idea to slow down everything around Samus so she could uh, more easily kill regular enemies and bosses making use of this. And this is especially useful when it is combined with the Beam Burst Special Ability, Ion Ability. And it is also very useful when using level design to solve some very interesting puzzles uh, to make your way forward in the game and also to backtrack and find some previously inaccessible secrets. Yeah, so Jose Luis just mentioned that sometimes you need to use the phase drift to uh, progress through some puzzles. What you could see is that earlier I dropped down here because of the breakable blocks. But now that I've acquired the phase drift, I can slow down time. And these blocks break a lot slower so I can get safely across. Also, at this spot, I would like to highlight the ability of Samus to aim in all 360 degrees. This really helps her to hit all the enemies, even from a distance, at pinpoint precision. But in addition, what you can see here is that the moment I aim at a block that requires a grapple beam, the beam automatically switches. And I don't even have to use uh, the touch screen to switch the beams. It automatically switches to use the grapple beam and just makes it a little bit more convenient to progress. So then we've now reached the final area of this demonstration. You can see that the fireballs are shooting at a very high pace here, and it's very difficult to get all the way to the top without getting a hit. Luckily, there is a big Aeon Orb here, which replenishes all of my Aeon energy, so that I have the time to activate the phase drift. And now, with a slowed down time, suddenly timing my jump is a lot easier, and I can land on this elevator, which takes us to the next area. However, this is where the gameplay demonstration ends, because Mr. Sakamoto and Jose Luis have a lot more to share with us. So I hand the word back to them. I think so. Yeah, so thank you very much for taking us through the game for now. But now we actually want to show players a completely new antagonist that they are going to face. Let's have a look. This looks really, really tough. Thank you. So, Mr. Sakamoto, yeah. what made you decide to add completely new sequences into the game? This was another suggestion from Mercury's team. Adding different kinds of excitement to a game is very effective. ほとんどのメトロイドゲームではゲームの終わりに脱出タイムアミッションというのを作ってるんですけれどもそれととても似たような感覚の緊張感を違った形で表現できるというのはとても魅力的でしたのでもうぜひ作ってください入れてくださ
And this enemy was also designed so we could change the pacing of the game in certain places. So it appears different times in different places and making different things. That's true. So for me, one of the most interesting aspects actually of this title is that we can see Metroids evolve over the course of the game, like in age, of course. And I believe that this game, if I'm not mistaken, has also the most variety of Metroids that Samus has encountered across the whole series. So do you think you can show us a little bit more, like something new, something really tough, really challenging, a new tough Metroid, for yes, example? Okay. 確かに、まあ、成長過程のすべてのメトロイドと戦うっていうのは、まあ、シリーズにおいてもすごくユニークなところですよね。ファイティングアンスティメトロイドのあらゆるステージのエヴォルーションは、実際にユニークなユニークなアスペクトのゲームの世界です。では、えー、最もタフに成長したメトロイドの一つであるオメガメトロイドをビデオクリップでご覧ください。私はここにあるクリップを見せてください。私はここにあるクリップを見せてください。私はここにあるクリップを見せてください。私はここにあるクリップを見せてください。私はここにあるクリップを見せてください。私はここにあるクリップを見せてください。私はここにあるクリップを見せてください。私はここにあるクリップを見せてください。私はここにあるクリップを見せてください。私はここにあるクリップを The Omega Metroid. Let's have a look. Really, really tough. So, as it seems that the life of Samos Aran is always connected to the story of two alien species. As we know, for one, the unfriendly ones, the Metroids, and the one friendly toward the humans, the Chozo. So, when the original Game Boy title was released, we didn't really have a lot of background information about either one. So, maybe did you see that as an opportunity to give us more detail and more background information? メトロイドサムスリターンズではゲーム中の条件を満たすことで超像メモリーっていう複数のビジュアルがアンロックされます。Metroid, Returns, conditions, そこそこには SR388 で一体何が起きたのか、超人族たちは何をしたのかっていうことが描かれています。These tell the story of what happened on the planet SR388, as well as what the Chozo did. They may reveal a surprising secret that nobody could have imagined. So, Jose Luis, maybe you have something to add here? Yes. We hope like this will be an incentive this way to discover all secrets and explore the whole planet, and we will reward players for you. All right. So unfortunately, this is already the end of this segment. But don't worry, Metroid Samus Returns will return. In fact, in only about 25 to 30 minutes, we're going to have another segment of Metroid Samus Returns with an in-depth look over there in our live streaming booth. Unfortunately, our audience who's tuning in via live stream cannot see it right now. But as you guys are here at Gamescom, you can see it over there. So. For this time, I will say thank you, of course, to Chris. We're going to see each other again over there, and we're going to have an in-depth look into the new Aeon abilities. So thank you very much, Chris, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and please give Mr. Sakamoto and Jose Luis a big round of applause as they are both joining me yeah. in front of the stage so they can say goodbye to you as well. So thank you. So before we go, would you, Mr. Sakamoto and Jose Luis, say something to our audience? Hey, Metroid Samus Returns is, ah, no, 皆様のご期待を決して裏切らない我々の自信作です
We're confident that both longtime fans as well as new players will have a blast in Metroid Samus Returns. We can't wait to have you play and enjoy this exciting new title. Don't miss out on discovering the world of Metroid Samus Returns when it comes out on September 15th. I won't miss out, and I think Jose Luis, you have something to add here? Well, we put all of our heart and passion to create the best possible Metroid game. And we are really excited for you people to play it. And the launch day cannot come soon enough for us. I would like to thank very much <laughs> Mr. Sakamoto and yeah. Jose Luis from Mercury's team for showing us a little bit more about what Metroid Samus Returns is all about. It's a great collaboration between Nintendo and Mercury's team. So thank you very much for your insights. And I think you guys can be quite excited about September 15th, right? Yeah. All right. So, to the audience here at Gamescom, thank you very much for attending our live demonstration of Metroid Samus Returns. And to everyone tuning in via live stream, thank you very much for joining us. And stay tuned for the next live stream segment. Big round of applause, please. Yeah.